Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great taco. Taco. I don't know why I keep saying Taco Tuesday when it's actually Thirsty Thursday. Because we'll be thirsty for a real game. We've got New England, uh, which has yet, over the last three weeks, score, uh, excuse me, has given up less than 10 points each of the last three weeks and lost all three games the first team in the history of the nfl to ever have that happen so we have them who are offensively challenged versus the pittsburgh steelers another team offensively challenged that kenny pickett isn't even playing so this may be the ass 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 game of the year but you know it's football there's only 18 weeks of it. We're going to be trying to do as much of it as possible. I'll be having my buddy Game Time John, uh, Game Time Brian, uh, joining me as well. So, man, you know, things for the Cowboys never seem to work out for them. Okay, you know, home field advantage. You should get some home cooking. You should be able to get the calls and things. Uh, you know, in, in your house. You know, it seems like when we were in Philadelphia, they seemed to get a lot of calls. You remember that hands in the fa hand in the face, you know, uh, the pass interferences and stuff. You know, we did not get any breaks from the officials. Now, Eagle fans have been crying like mother humpers, even though they have been being saved by the officials. Now, here's the thing. Apparently, the NFL has put the fix in. This is crazy. That in Dallas, you won't even get Dallas-friendly officials. John Husley, okay, this is from Eagles Nation, shout out to them, because they are partying in the streets right now in Philadelphia. John Husley, who will be the head referee for Sunday's game against the Cowboys, the Eagles are 7-0 and when he referees, including last year's Monday night versus Cowboys and the NFC Championship game. In those games, this is where you start to say, wait a minute. Are, are we trying to say that the Eagles are clean playing as a team? The Eagles were penalized six times to 21 for their opponents. So let, let me be clear here. Let me say this again. There were seven games, seven games, only six penalties. That means at least one of those games, they did not make a single call against the Eagles. Not a one. Not one. How can you actually go through a game and not have at least one call made on you? Seriously. Now, I always see um, Lane Johnson jumps off sides 50% of the time. They never call it. I've seen guys literally, you know, rope you know, hog tie Micah Parsons when they don't call it. I've seen them literally, you say, get a room with some of these guys when they're going down the field against our receivers. So here it is. We got some home cooking. The Cowboys have been really, really good at home. And we get an official who seems to be biased. Now, he's been an official since uh, 2002, okay? Um, <laughs> God, I, 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 this hurts. It, it, here's, here's how you know the fix is in. L listen to this. Eagle fans are jumping for joy over John Helsley appointment for the Cowboys game. What, <laughs> what is odd is that this game... The games that Hesley, I can't even speak because it, it's literally messed me up that much. What is odd that is games that Hesley has refereed, the Eagles are 7-0, and that includes last year's championship game, along with the Eagles having just six penalties in those games per Eagles Nation on X. For one fan, the NFL is making it right after last week's game against the 49ers. Making it right after last week's debacle is one. Uh, the Cowboys were offside damn near all game in last year, and we actually uh, are better this year. Ref's going to win it for us. You're literally saying the refs are going to win it for you. 
Delete this. Make the Eagles and referees a legion, uh, 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 look worse. Cowboys already knew, too. I'm hoping that they stay in the lane and let them play football. No ticky-tack penalties either way. We know what Big uh, Dom is for slipping those hundreds and keeping his eyes in the zebras. Got to have the ma presence on the field. Here's what's terrible. No way, no how should a game be decided by official. It just shouldn't. More this year than any other year, you have to look at this and say, they need to do better with the officiating. Football, you know, they've gotten better helmets, better equipment. You know, they can really watch and see if a guy's got a concussion on the field. If you can figure out when a guy's got a concussion on the field and things like that, how come you can't figure out the calls on the field? Why isn't there like, say, I don't know, a sensor in the football? You can mic guys up and everything else and all that, right? Why isn't there like, say, like a sensor in the football that could actually know exactly where it is? You know what I'm saying? It's not like they don't have the money to try and take it out of some of these guys' hands. The holding calls that they don't seem to get when it comes to Micah Parsons, Micah Parsons, literally, this is, this is, come on, even Eagle fans, you'd have to admit that Micah Parsons has been held more than two times all season. That Micah Parsons has been held more than two times, because that's all the penalties that have been called. Two. Two. And all these games. And this is where people start looking at and saying, maybe the NFL is rigged. Maybe it's fixed. Maybe there is an alternative reason for scores to be a certain way or for certain teams to win. Maybe it is scripted. I don't know. But all I know is when you have an official that is going to be at a game the last thing that should be happening is one team is hyped up and saying that we're going to win this game because we got that official. And the other team says, oh, God, we got that official. We're doomed. Tells me that there's a bias in there. Maybe they need to get some non-football fans from other countries to become officials that are non-biased. Because what we got right now This don't look good. I I don't see how this looks good for the NFL. And if it ends up being another one of these lopsided games, as far as the officiating goes, if it's a one call against the Eagles and 15 against the Cowboys, yeah, you're definitely going to be questioning the integrity of some of these officials. All right, good people. I appreciate you guys listening to me rambling. And hopefully the Cowboys will do this this weekend. Disrespected yet? Does this defense have any heart? Let's no. Go. They suck. Versus- I've been telling you all season, they Philly. They shit on you. Oh. They shit on you. <laughs> Don't you hear me, Jordan Davis, <laughs> Caleb Carter, 